guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel, Mystical Mar. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Maria, and today we're going to be doing a pick a pile reading on what's to come for the rest of your January 2020. Um, in front of me, I have three pile selections going on here. The first pile is um, the club suits, the second pile is the diamond suit, and the third pile is the heart suit. Um, just a little background information, I specialize in reading playing cards, which is called the art of cardamancy, um, but I also read tarot and oracle cards and things of that nature. Um, and yeah, so that's why I'm using these props. I don't have a spade or else I would have put the spade out there. Um, these may be a little bit lengthy because I did put extra cards in there um, when I was pooling because I wanted it to be in depth and because I didn't get to um, cover the first half of January. So I wanted to bring you guys some insights and some guidance as you enter into the new year here. I'm wishing you nothing but success, love, abundance, luck and prosperity this year to come and i hope you guys flourish in anything that you set out to do um so with that being said go ahead and pause the video and um decide which pile is calling you which pile you are drawn to you could pick more than one pile and we are going to begin here so i'm going to move these out of the way here and so I'm going to put the club in the middle so that everybody knows um, what pile we're on. I will also be providing the piles in the timestamps down below. And they should also be in the description box as well. So give me one second to lay out these cards as I have not looked at them. And then we shall begin here. Um, so right off the bat, some energy that I am picking up is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I'm picking up Earth Sign Vibes, Taurus, Virgo, Capra Moon. Capra moon. <laughs> you may have a Capricorn Moon. Um, let's see what else we're picking up here. Queen of Clubs. Yeah, heavy fire sign energy coming up for this pile. Let's see. Also, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, guys, so I do see that one theme that is going to be highlighted for you within the rest of January here is hard effort and work with the Eight of Pentacles here. Um, for those of you who have chosen this pile, I do see that um, work and play is going to be factoring into your life here. I do see that there could be some type of struggle um, for those of you that are working at this time within the month of January with authoritative figures or roles within your life at this time. Um, I do see it's because you are someone who has a strong mindset when it comes to achieving and obtaining their goals. And I do see that because you're someone who is so passionate and fiery in what you are setting out to do here, um, you may overall have clashes with people who are of an authoritative role or figure within your life. It doesn't always have to be pertaining to work. It could just be parental figures. It could be friendships around you or any other type of social connection. It can even be love in which the person which in which you're dealing with here likes to have some type of reign or hold over you. Um, but I do see that you are going to be breaking free from constraints within your life at this time. And I see that you're really going to be focused on things that you are passionate about here. And your angels and your spirit guides at this time with the seven of cups in this tarot deck um, are encouraging you not to settle for less at this time here. I do see that the number seven could be significant to some of you that are watching this. You could be a life path seven. Um, you can just resonate with the number seven or you could also be seeing the number seven within the month of January, within the rest of January here. And with the seven coming up here, I also see that um, you guys are going to be growing and expanding spiritually. And I see that you guys are overall rising to some type of new height when it comes to your personal selves here. I see that overall your vibration is going to be rising within the month of January here, within the rest of this month, and you're overall going to be coming um, out of any type of cycles in which you had to... Um, 
deal with people that were faulty or deal with people that were cold and calculating or dealing with people that are overall causing some type of fear or some type of anxiety within your life. So if you are wanting to um, set off for any new work venture or if any of you are beginning a new work venture at this time or a new passionate project, I do see that because your vibration is rising, you're going to be accumulating um, just overall a lot a lot of good karma and whatever this is that you're starting and if you aren't starting anything new and you've been wanting to then within the rest of january you're in you're being encouraged at this time to go forth and to build upon whatever that is. I do see that you may need to take a break um, from some type of party scenes at times within the rest of this month here. I am seeing something about a party, a celebration, or an event here. I do see that there's going to be a lot of balance, a lot of protection, and warmth at this party or celebration. Some of you could just be going to social gatherings or just having good times with friends, but then the others of you, I do see that you could be um, going to some type of marriage celebration ceremony or event engagements things like that with this four of wands here i do see that emotional victory is yours for the taking within the rest of this month but it's only until you decide to move differently it's only until you decide to let things that you've been clinging and holding on to you're being encouraged at this time to take a time out from anything within your life that doesn't cause you balance to see um, how certain situations and circumstances and even people around you really affect the way in which you move and really affect your energetic levels here. With the time out card here, I do see that there's a need for balance when it comes to your work life and then when it comes to your social connections coming up here within the rest of January. I see that you're going to be very fiery, very social, very magnetic in your appeal. I also see that people could really be watching over you at this time. Time. Um, any of you that work within like the public eye or any of you that work in crowds or with large groups of people, I do see that you are going to be attracting in people that are curious and that people that want to know more about you here. I do see also with the Eight of Pentacles that you guys are going to be working hard. And so again, there's a need for you to have balance within your life at this time to allow yourself to take those time out those times out here and then to allow yourself to overall have fun um, but not have too much fun because I do see that overall you're building upon um, something new within your life or you're about to come into something new here and it's clarified by the ace of Ariel here so Archangel Ariel is saying that there's going to be some type of luck coming your way within the rest of January it could be new resources of money of time or of support and then you also some of you that are watching this could be having a change in your job or some type of promotion going on whatever this is that you are starting a new it could just be a way in which you express yourself a way in which you feel about yourself I see that it's really going to change a lot of perspectives within your life with this perspective card coming up and you're overall going to dare to be different at this time so if you've been moving in a certain way and it hasn't been working out for you it's because you are being called or compelled to do something different than your everyday norm that you've been doing here. Um, some other things that I'm seeing aside from all of these aspects that I'm picking up is that some of you may need to um, uh, go get your eyes checked or you know get new contacts get new glasses things of that nature here some of you may need to repair um, your glasses or some of you may need to repair a certain watch is what I'm seeing as well I just see overall that you're going to keep a lot of plates spinning with this two of swords here and that also means that you're going to be connecting with a lot of energies and so with this feather with this feather that this lady is holding in this card depiction here um, I do see that overall it would be good to cleanse your energetic field and that's why it's very important for you to go out and spend time in nature um, within the rest of this month. I'm seeing anywhere where there's water, anywhere where there's greenery, anywhere in which there are... Um, 
um, animals as well. I am seeing something connected to a bird here. I don't know if some of you own a bird that are watching this or if you resonate with birds. I do see that your angels and your spirit guides send um, certain animals your way for a particular few of you that are watching this. And I do see that overall, um, whenever you see birds, for those of you that resonate with this message, that's your angels and your spirit guides encouraging you to make sure that you're remaining balanced and all that you're setting out to do. Make sure that there's an equal give and take in all situations that you're dealing with within the rest of January here. And that is all I'm picking up for you guys, pile number one. I hope you like this reading. Please click the notification bell um, to get other notifications of when I post videos like so. Um, give this video a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I am wishing you nothing but the best within the rest of January. And if any of you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, my information is in the description box down below. And so now we are going to jump into pile number two here. Just give me one second. Okay, so now we're going to jump into pile number two with the diamond. Let's see, pile number two. Give me one second as I lay out the cards. Um, so pile number two, I see that right off the bat that some of you that could be watching this may have Leo within their chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, even Mars. I am picking up. Let's see here. I do see here um, within the month of within the rest of January here, for those of you who have chosen pile number two, um, that there could be some type of completion or end within your life at this time. I do see that there's a lot of things coming full circle within your life. And I also see that you guys are breaking free um, from old emotions or from emotions that have kept you trapped or stuck in some type of sense here. I see with this High Priestess card that you guys are seeing things from an above perspective. You overall know what needs to be breaking free from, whether it's a person, whether it's a situation, or whether it's a way in which you overall have been thinking, a way in which you've been acting out here with the Break the Chain card. I do see that you are overall birthing this new age into being for yourself. And so with that being said, you are really really going to be looking back at this time and seeing every progression that you have made here. And if um, overall you have not seen this progression thus far um, going into the middle of January here, I do see that by the end of January, there's going to be some type of like epiphany moment here in which you are realizing that you have come so far for those of you who have chosen power number two, and I do see that you have enough strength and you're going to be coming into some type of unconditional trust when it comes to this new age that you're birthing in for yourself here. Um, overall, I see with the strength card here that you know um, what, she, what you should be connected to at this time. You're going to be in tune with what places are drawing you forth. And so you're being asked with this High Priestess card to follow those intuitions and to follow those psychic insights that you are downloading at this time. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of purple here. So for those of you that have chosen this card, you're being encouraged at this time to really build upon your spirituality. I'm seeing a lot of threes and I see that your faith is overall going to be restored in some type of way. You're going to be seeing that all the hard work or all the emotions that you've had to deal with. And I see that it's been very overwhelming here. It was for a reason and it's because it taught you how to get into this grown version version of yourself, this more mature, this more practical version of yourself, um, not even in a sense in this world. It's like a spiritual maturity that you're coming into here. And you're really going to be having more faith in yourself and trusting in the path in which you've been walking thus far and knowing that all the moves that you've had to make, all the things that you've had to put an end to, um, they were for a reason. And it's because you're, you're overall opening up this whole new brand new cycle for yourself here with the world card coming up. Some of you could also be traveling at this time is what I'm seeing with that world card and with the break the chain card here. 
Um, I'm also seeing here that some of you could be really, really showing others around you, whether it's friendships and especially people within your family lineage, that you can most definitely walk in the direction and in the path that you want and you're going to be showing them how to succeed. I see that a lot of you that have chosen pile number two, you may have had to deal with family members or friends that overall hadn't seen your visions clearly because they overall put limitations and certain belief systems upon themselves that um, overall limit them as an individual, as a being here on earth. And they don't even see how it was practical or how you were able to make these types of moves within your life. And they've also seen themselves that you have gone through a lot and that when it comes to your emotions here, you have gone through um, many cycles of overwhelming feelings is what I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing with this emotions card, the birthing a new age here, that some of you could be um, uh, conceiving at this time. I was going to say pregnant, but I do see that some of you may be conceiving at this time here. I'm getting a lot of blues, so I do see that some of you may be um, finding out that you're pregnant with a boy. Obviously, that is not going to resonate with everyone, so don't freak out. Um, but yeah, and with this eight of wands here, I see that you're going to really be diving in full force into this whole new territory within the rest of January here. You're going to be full of the go. You're overall going to be feeling ready to embark on new journeys, new adventures. It's a very fresh energy that I'm getting for pile number two here, especially with this eight of wands here. With this nine of swords here, I do see that um, you may be up at night. You may be a little bit restless um, but I'm getting more so that it's because you're really trying to heal certain anxieties about your future self and I see that at this time you're working through this energy and you're going to be coming out of it is what I'm seeing here with the nine of swords I also see here with the nine of swords that um, overall there th at nighttime is especially um, a time for you to trust overall. I do see that you can tend to overthink at nighttime. You can overall even upset your stomach. Some of you that have chosen this pile may suffer from anxiety, depression, and things of that nature, um, mental aspects of that nature here. And so whenever you're feeling um, doubt or whenever you're feeling fear, remind yourself that everything is in the now and your mindset and the frame in which you think is what shapes and how you react to things. And so that is why there is a need for you to have faith and to have trust in what is happening and what is unfolding for you at this time. And I see you're going to be coming into that. And obviously healing is not linear. It's not in a straight line. Um, and so at times you may fall into this and you may become restless. I suggest drinking, um, I actually suggested this to one of my viewers or one of my clients the other day. I'm drinking chamomile, sleeping next to amethyst, um, things of that nature. I see that it's really important for you to watch what you eat at this time because your stomach may be very sensitive um, within the rest of this month, especially for my earth signs. I don't know why I had to say that. Um, especially for those of you who have Mars earth signs. Um, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is what I'm picking up as well. Um, let's see what else we have going on here. The Six of Diamonds, the Jack of Clubs, Five of Hearts, and then the Ten of Clubs. Um, I do see here with the Six of Diamonds here that when it comes to connecting with people, more so I'm seeing a younger masculine energy around you or a masculine energy that is around your age here. I do see that... Um, this could be either within love or this could be a friendship around you. It could be any connection within your life in which you're really wanting to reach out. And I see that this person is definitely wanting to reach out to you as well here. But there may be some type of distance either physically, emotionally, or communicatively here. And I do see here that this masculine energy may come in with a lot of um, energy, a lot of fast-paced velocity, 
fiery, magnetic energy here. And I do see that this person is wanting to have fun, um, is wanting to socialize with you. So don't hold yourself back. Don't hold back in communication in general here. Really come out of hiding. Really express your truths. And if something's bothering you mentally here, I do see that there is someone around you. And even if they're at a distance, there's some way in which you can contact them is what I am picking up here. Um, with that five of hearts and that ten of clubs here. I'm seeing with the six of diamonds and the five of hearts again that some of you could be taking a pregnancy test here. I'm seeing that um, with the two of spades here that there could be some type of argument or disagreement or some type of feelings of betrayal going on here when it comes to a masculine energy within your life. But I'm seeing it, it has stemmed from a lack of communication here. And so that's why it's really important for you to be honest and open in communicating, especially for those of you that really like to text or really like to send messages through social media or any online communication here because I see that things could be misinterpreted very easily. So make sure that you pay attention to that within the rest of this month here. With the three of pentacles, for those of you who have chosen this pile, um, some of you may be in fields relating to art. It could be any type of art, music, dancing, singing, anything, painting, sculpting, poetry, journalism, anything that's artistic. It could also be science-related field, psychology. It could be the medical field, such as nurses, um, doctors, anything of that nature. So if that resonates with some of you that are watching this, you're being encouraged to build upon um, those aspects within yourself here because I see that this is a very progressional time for you to do so. And I see that by winter time of this year, you're going to be um, overall coming into a more stable self and I see that by winter time the fruits of your labor are going to really be showing through and so there's a need for you to keep up with your spirituality and not all of you that may be watching this may be spiritual but hey you clicked on this video right so you may believe in something and so there's a need if anything to just believe in yourself here believe in everything that you're building upon working upon any type of new connections don't stray away from them get to know people at this time put yourself out there and know that you will always be safe and secure within yourself because you have faith in your life right it's a strong message for you guys. With the Two of Swords here, again, I do see that if you had not heard from someone, that within the next two weeks here, um, you could be hearing from that person. I'm just seeing here with the Two of Swords here that um, balance within communication is really important, especially when you're trying to build with those around you. And last card here, the Page of Pentacles here. I do see that people could be, could be coming towards you at this time. Um, just overall for advice, for guidance. People really want to know what you have to say here with that Page of Pentacles. People want to know what type of insights and guidance and knowledge you contain. And you're being encouraged at this time to overall speak upon those ideas and those thoughts and those creative, a creative mindset overall that you have as an individual is what you're being called to express at this time. And so um, other signs that I'm picking up Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Heavy Sagittarius, Sagittarius and Leo energy here. I'm also picking up Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, and yeah. For those of you that are Catholic, you have an affinity to Mother Mary. Um, that's not going to resonate with everyone, but Mother Mary definitely hears your prayers. If you want to call out to her, or if any of you that believe in Mary just in general, um, she is listening to you and she is watching over you at this time, and she's sending you added strength and guidance, okay? And so that is all I got for you, pile number two. I hope you like this reading. Turn on the notification bell down below so you can get notified for when I post videos like so. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Um, subscribe, comment to my channel, and I'm wishing you nothing but the best within the rest of January 2020 here. And if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, my information is in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much. Bye. All right, guys. So now we're going to jump into pile number three here. Here. All right. So let's see what is going on for you. For those of you who have chosen pile number three here. 
All right, so right off the bat with the Ten of Cups there, I do see that you could be having a lot of fun. For those of you that like to drink um, or to indulge a little bit, I do see emotional victory and those aspects here. I see overall this Ten of Cups in this deck talks about people that are overall grateful for the harvest that has been given to them. So I see that a lot of you who have chosen pile number three, that you guys are going to be expressing a lot of gratitude towards the earth here. I see that a lot of you are going to be expressing your emotional side more so within the rest of January here. And I also see that a lot of you are going to be feeling emotionally content, but in more so a lighthearted, carefree manner is what I'm picking up here. You're being encouraged at this time to go with the flow, to go with the currents of life, and to be overall open to anything that is thrown your way. Because I do see that at this time with positivity and optimism with this divine alchemy card here, that you have all the tools and the necessities needed in order to build with the resources that are given to you at this time, within friendships, within things that you're working on here. Overall, I see that you guys are going to be very creative and very expressive in anything that you set out to do within the rest of January here. With the balance card here, um, I do see that overall, some of you may need to take time out um, within the rest of January here. This also correlated to another one of the piles as well, where balance was really needed in order to keep this um, positive and optimistic outlook. Because when we keep things balanced, when we keep ourselves in check on what is needing to be done, we overall don't stress ourselves out when it comes to deadlines. We don't stress ourselves out when we overall... Um, our balance in every aspect and within our life and obviously it's not 100% possible to be balanced in every single aspect but I do see that if you plan ahead at this time and if you really put that effort in um, to really allocate when you should be working on things when you should be going out when you should be doing this that you are going to achieve this satisfaction within yourself and it's going to feel as if everything is aligned for you is what I'm picking up with this card coming up here with the um, Limitless card, I do see that some of you may be compelled to travel at this time. Some of you may be compelled to stretch your wings, to stretch your limits here. And I do see that you're going to be taking on this very fearless attitude. And I want to reassure you here with all of these twos coming up that you have everything that it takes um, to go after and to accomplish everything that your mindset is wanting to within the rest of January. So don't forget the energy, the divinity within you to accomplish the tasks that you are needing to set off to do here. Remember that anytime where you're feeling stressed out, to literally ground yourself within the earth, meaning pretend as if your feet are rooted into the ground, as if you're a tree. And as crazy as that sounds, as you do so, remind yourself as you stand up and you plant your feet into the ground in which you are you're finding yourself in whenever you're stressed out remind yourself that the earth sends you unlimited energy to act upon your plans and to idealize your visions and your goals with ease tell yourselves things of that nature and i guarantee you that you are going to overall be accomplishing and setting out to do things within the rest of january with positivity overall Let's see what else we got going on here. Exactly. With the King of Gabriel here, you guys may be more so tapping into your masculine energy rather than your feminine energy within the month of January here. I do see that there's a need for you to stay in this very generous, inspirational, even dramatic and driven light that you have been in already to keep your eyes on the bigger picture and to know that the detailings are going to be worked out by the universe. It's a very magician energy. I'm not sure if the magician is within this pile, but that is what I'm getting. Some of you may have Taurus within your chart, Gemini as well here. I'm picking up Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. Um, but with this card coming up here, it's saying that because you are someone that operates at a genuine and an authentic level, people are overall going to be genuine and have this authentic... <coughs> 
confirmed, sorry about that, authentic overall concern for you. And they're wanting you to be elevated and uplifted in your successes at this time. So you're overall going to really be in this regal light. I see that people are looking up to you at this time. And I see that people want to help you grow and expand. Okay, let's see what else we got going on here. With the solutions card here, Archangel Zarkael is saying that if you've been um, dealing with anything at this time, I do see that through objective compromising, through self-control, and through patience, that forgiving and healing energy is going to overall be implemented into something that you had been dealing with prior um, to you watching this video or something that you're going to be coming into. So if you have any altercations with people, I see that that is going to be changing or I see that the dynamic between you and another person or you in a work setting or you in any type of situation or circumstance here could be within the home. I see overall that things are going to be fizzling out and I see that solutions are going to be made here. With the Star Mother card um, here, I do see that some of you could overall be dealing with a maternal figure within your life at this time in which you guys both need to have patience and set boundaries with one another. It could be a sisterly figure. It could be a grandmother. It could be anyone that overall um, exudes this maternal energy here. Now, because you're going to be someone that is in such a masculine energy this month, no matter if you're a boy, girl, no matter if you're a woman, a man, I meant to say, um, or whatever you identify as, there's a need for you to overall nurture and care for yourself. I do see that water would be very healing for you at this time. Traveling is very healing for you at this time, even if it's just traveling within your own city limits or within your own neighborhood. Getting out in nature is really important here. Buy yourself some nice flowers. Book yourself a massage. If you can if you have the funds and the means necessary. Um, overall, nurture and care and give to yourself at times, okay? Let's see here. With the Age of Light card, again, I feel like a lot of you who have chosen this pile are stepping into some type of leadership role or position here. And it's something that you've been training for for lifetimes. It's something that you're meant to be doing in this lifetime. Um, and so there's a need for you to overall understand that you are posing as an inspiration to others at this time. And there's a need for you to own that light. And the good thing about this pile here is that I see that those of you who have chosen this pile, you guys are very humble individuals. And because you're humble, um, I do see that you're going to be blessed in some type of way. I feel like you're going to be growing and expanding more than you could have ever imagined within the rest of this month here. Let's see what else we got going on here. With the oppression card and with the six of cups here. Your angels and your spirit guides are telling you, this kind of correlates to pile number two, that, you know, there's a need for you guys to be in the present moment here. I do see that a lot of you could fall into nostalgia within the rest of this month here, and you could overall self-sabotage yourself in a way in which you feel like you are being left out in the cold. But your angels and your spirit guides are showing me that another reason in which you could be feeling this way is because you are overall working working on something and that overall requires you to step away from connections at times that requires you um, to overall stay in this driven attitude and mindset where you may feel as if you don't have time to be nurtured and cared for by others. And that also ties in with the mother card here. And so I do see that there's a need for you to take a step back at times and to make sure that you're allowing yourself to be nurtured and cared for by those whom love you at this time because I see that in the end you ultimately could be thinking about the past um, but there's so much love that is lying in the present right now okay and you may not be seeing it because you've been really focusing or working hard or you're going to be focusing or working hard at this time but I see that there's a lot of people around you that want to nurture and care and give to you and I see that you your higher self is calling upon you to nurture and care for you 
as well. And so let's go into these tarot cards that I'm picking up here with the two of wands here for those of you that work in business connections or for those of you that are entrepreneurial or in energy or have to collaborate or work with people in the workspace. I do see that you're going to be establishing key contacts, but more so in a one on one relationship than a group setting here. Again, with the Two of Pentacles here, I do see that you could receive some type of news that is coming in financially here that is overall going to balance out your finances in some type of a sense here with the Two of Pentacles coming up. Um, and then with the Two of Wands here, I do see that there could be a partnership or a connection around you in which you guys are going to be expressive more towards each other or your angels and your guides are encouraging you for those of you especially pertaining to love connections at this time for those of you who are feeling oppressed or who are feeling left out by your partner the way in which you can change and shift this overall attitude and this dynamic between the two of you is by expressing your needs and I see that the both of you may not express your needs because because you want to overall keep the relationship at a surface level and there's a need to dive in deeper at this time and to state exactly what it is that you are expecting of one another because I see that you guys both um, sabotage the relationship by keeping too much to yourselves at this time here. With the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse here, this could be a masculine energy that some of you may be dealing with at this time that is overall very materialistic in their approach because he did come up in the reverse. This could also be... Um, of masculine energy in which you're dealing with in which their eyes are on money especially especially those of you that are dealing with a partnership or a connection at this time or those of you that are overall dealing with a family member and you feel as if they haven't been present within the family dynamic here I do see that this person is really money focused at this time but to the point where they're overall shutting themselves out from the people that they love most and this could go vice versa. This could be your energy as well. So again, you're being asked to take it back down to the earthly level here. If this is the energy that you will be exuding to recognize that work is obviously important to keep stability and to keep the foundation going to feel secure. Um, but then also there is a need to make sure that you are not finding all your pleasure and your happiness in your work life. Because I see that love is surrounding you and is calling upon you at this time. I see that also the love for yourself is calling upon you. And you may be working yourself so much to the point where you don't take care of yourself as much as you should. And so this card is a reminder for you within the rest of January here. That if you enter into this state of being to realize or to overall take a glance and a look of everything that is surrounding you to take a look at what's been going on within emotional wise even physically um, because I do see that those of you could could have overall stepped away from really mothering and caring and nurturing for yourself and it's time to get back to that okay and so lastly we are going to end your reading with a couple more playing cards here I do see here with the four of spades here that if you come into any type of cold or any type of like sickness symptoms here, it could be physically, emotionally, mentally here, I see some type of feeling of being entrapped or stuck. Um, overall here and I see that you're going to be coming out of that I see with the seven of hearts here that there's going to be healing energies being implemented and I see a lot of you regaining your vitality back again here um, I do see that there is a masculine energy around you that is wanting to work something out here that is wanting to come out of this stagnation and this feeling of being trapped or stuck here I see that you or your partner could be coming off a little bit cold for those of you that are in partnerships or this could even be within a friendship dynamic this could be within the workplace but either you were coming off very cold or sharp or your person was 
Um, I'm seeing one person being very um, magnetic and fiery towards the other and the other person being very cold and off at a distance here. And I do see that no matter what connection this is pertaining to, that this person is going to want to come in and to work something out here, um, ha is wanting a second chance to redo things or is wanting another chance to overall um, be more clear and to overall have this mutual give and take within whatever connection this is that I am picking up here. And then I also see here um, with the Nine of Hearts that you could come into some type of wish um, that you had been wanting. I see some type of emotional victory or success overall here with the Nine of Hearts here. I'm picking up Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with these playing cards, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, Mars, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, ri Rising, Venus, and Mars as well. Heavy Piscean energy, heavy Cancerian energy as well. And that is all I got for you, pile number three. I hope you like this reading. I'm wishing you nothing but the best within the rest of January 2020 here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Um, comment down below if this reading reading resonated with you. Um, and then also click the bell notification to get um, notified when I post videos like so here. And if you're wanting to book a personal reading with me, my information will be listed in the description box down below. And it was a pleasure speaking to you all today. And I'm wishing you lots of success within the rest of this year. Bye, guys.